Welcome back to the Road Show, everybody. This morning in the buzz, a new study shows casual flirting between coworkers may be beneficial for those dealing with stress. Now, researchers at the Washington State University says lighthearted banter is good. Yeah, so we want to know if you've ever been in a relationship with a coworker, right. or maybe you just have a really strong office friendship that has aided and alleviated right. some stress. Well, I think for a lot of people, I, who was saying this morning, I think you spend more time with the people who you work with than probably your your family mm -hmm. that you live with. Yeah. Right? Well, and, and going off of that point, there aren't may, maybe many other times outside of work that you would run into a lot of people and meet them right. outside of maybe a dating app, sure. but a lot of people you interact with coworkers and you know a few things that you have in common sparks you to hang out right. in a group setting and right. then maybe the groups get smaller and smaller and before you know it, I mean, I know in this building over the years, so many people, people, we've worked with spouses. Right. There are so many people who mm -hmm. work in this building that are married and have successful relationships right. yes. and kids and, and whatnot right. and it, it can definitely help. I think for a lot work. of people you, you have that you have that common thing to talk about, mm -hmm. right? When you go out with your spouse's friends or whatever, a lot of times what do you hear? You hear like you don't know what the heck they're talking about. Yeah. But then you go out with the people who you work with and at least you can have some sort of common chime ground. into the conversation. Right. You can chime into the conversation mm -hmm. and you can actually talk. Yeah. And I mean look here we're very we're we're lucky. We yep. all like we all get along. We mm -hmm. all like each other. And I think the other cool thing is is we get to go on a lot of great adventures together. Yeah. Right. And we're laughing most right. of the time. I, and I and I think you know not even having uh, some sort of dating relationship, right. but you and I joke. I mean, we're we're TV husband and wife. That's right. And I think it's so great to have that. And Brendan is our love child. <laughs> and I think it's so great. <laughs> I think it's it's nice when you have people that not only How are your. How old are we that we've got a kid who's 36? Well, no, but I, I think it's nice when you have that relationship <laughs> that you can at least have a conversation or two, right? That's not work yes, related, absolutely. and it breaks up the day, and it keeps the laughter going. See, we're already Look, laughing, and we can joke with one another. So the, it's really the other great thing is, and I think this goes for not just not just all of us. I think everybody who's here on the show, and mm -hmm. maybe I'm speaking out of line, but I think God forbid something happened. If we picked up the phone and yep. called somebody. They would be there in a heartbeat. Right? Maybe I not think Kirby, we can but all. I mean, the, you know. No, I think <laughs> we would be. Brendan would be there too. I think we all. Yeah, right. And we are they really lucky be, that we, we have. Be there. We have this little like family, this roadshow family, right. a work family, right. and and friends. And you can't. I mean, how many times will something come up and you kind of either make a joke or you talk about something that happened sure. the night before that's not particularly work related, right. but a, a two minute conversation, you know, won't kill you. It just helps the day go by a little easier. Right. And I think that's important. Thinking about it, Brendan and I have been friends longer than I have been friends with anybody here. We've been friends. Well, well, well. No, I'm just saying. I've, I've known him longer. First Excuse of all, me, as I you and I have been together couch. longer, but mm -hmm. I have known him. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm only 15. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that the makes me growth Your issue. father and I have to have a chat. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting awkward. We're fighting in front of the kids. No, I actually have thought about this many times. I met you, uh, I think we were at a mixer or right. a stock hop I or had something. Hair. <laughs> I think it was like 2003 or right. two or something like that. So a wow. long time ago. But this topic is, I think, universal. I mean, that you guys hit on so many uh, I, points right there that make such sense. You know, you're, you're with people every day. You get to know them very well. Mm -hmm. You share similar interests right. with them. And it's not uncommon for something to spark. Yeah. Join the family. That's where people meet. Exactly. Right. Where are we supposed to meet? Right. Right. Well, the grocery store. That's I like the know. only other place I go to. Target. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I got to get to Target this afternoon. I guess. Why not? <laughs> well, here now is what our uh, friends out there are saying about this topic here today. Let's start with Stephanie L. Rostelli Katabia. Things worked out for her. This is very sweet. My husband and I met at the place we worked for. No problems at all. There you go. It all worked out. But you got to be. Carefully, you just never know what could happen. Dennis Weiner adds in part, I worked at a job years ago where this couple met at work, dated, got married, and continued to work in the same department. There you go. Erin Pye is up next. Met my husband at work, worked together closely for 15 years. I recently quit to stay home with the kids. Sure, that's why. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I miss working with him. That's very sweet right there. And finally, Lisa Gilbo Napert shares in part, I did date someone at work when I was single. Worst thing ever. See, this is what I'm trying to instill in all of you. You need to think decisions through before you make them. You got to realize that it may not all be, you know, rainbows and unicorns, right, Michaela? They're all 
thinking about it. I want to try it. What's it going to do? You just don't know. So evaluate the situation. I know I sound like your great uncle here. Here, I'll wink at you. That's what great uncles do. And let you know, just think it through because it could go well but it might not. Just know what you're getting into. I'm a walking, talking fortune cookie. Thank you, everyone. We love when you chime in. Please leave your comments on the buzz topic each morning on Facebook, and we may even read yours right here on the show. I wonder where you can find us on social media. I'm guessing, ooh, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, ooh, right there, at The Road Show. Very simple. Please join the conversation. For now, we want to send things into the kitchen. Will, take it away, bud. Thank you, son. All right.